iOS 26 Beta 9 is here in a surprise release this week, and it's getting closer to a final release, which means more refinement and less features. But here are the top three things you should know. iOS 26 Beta 9 is super smooth. Definitely an improvement over Beta 8, at least for me on the 16 Pro Max. Just swiping through your normal screens, going into the app library and scrolling, it's really been refined this time around. The only exception to that is if we go in and change our icons to clear, you'll see my widget disappears, and sometimes it's a little bit laggy when on the clear icon specifically. But outside of that, it's a great improvement as we're getting close to the final release. Another change in this beta is it looks like the dock has gotten even bigger, maybe to show off the new liquid glass design, but it looks like it's overly sized, maybe to accommodate for the larger icons. However, I'm using the smaller icons with labels, and it just doesn't seem to fit properly, so maybe they'll shrink this with the final release. Liquid glass in this update hasn't really changed. You can see it looks like it has before. I think this is the final version and overall looks pretty decent. I think it's much better than it was earlier on and definitely has a good compromise with being able to see what's behind different icons, especially if you're in light mode. So sometimes it's frosted, sometimes it's clear, and it makes it a little bit easier to read. Apple also updated the developer app, showing the new design is coming very soon. If we go to the Apple website, you'll see it says the new design is almost here and developers are getting ready to submit their apps. So we should have some updated apps very soon, along with WhatsApp and many other apps that will adopt the new liquid glass design. For all the additional details on battery and performance, be sure to check out my channel and subscribe.